we get started with international cricket. Some good news for local cricket fans. The West Indies Cricket Board today announced the schedule for the West Indies versus Pakistan series starting on July 14. The series will include five ODIs and two 2020 internationals. Ghana will host the first two ODIs followed by three ODIs at the Bosajor Cricket Ground in St. Lucia. The Armisdale Cricket Ground in St. Vincent will host the other two. 2020 internationals on July 27 and July 28 to conclude the tour. The series will also mark the return of international cricket to Guyana after one year absence. Middle order batsman Marlon Samuel said West Indies cricket has emerged from the doldrums and is on the rebound after years of disappointing performances. Samuels made his comment as the Caribbean side prepares to tackle India and Sri Lanka in the Selkan Mobile Cup Tri Nation series starting in Jamaica on Friday. Well, we're not going to blow our horns, you know, but at the moment, if you look at the West Indies setup, we have some wonderful players with a lot of experience playing right around the world. So you can't rule us out right now, and right now we demand a lot of respect in the world, and our cricket is, is definitely going back on top. So at the moment, the great thing about West Indies cricket right now, we are competing and we are winning games. But like back then, we were just losing games, and the, you can look in the stands now. Not just in the Caribbean, but outside the Caribbean. You see, the fans are definitely taking their time coming back. So that is motivating us. To, to, to want to win more cricket so that, the, so that we can win back the fans' heart and just, and just put West Indies cricket back on top. Top batsman Chris Gale said winning the first game is very important for the regional side. Well, um, the good thing about it, um, during the champion trophy, we get to get a chance to play against both teams and you know, play Sri Lanka in a warm game, which we actually won, and you know, India beat us in the in the second game. So, you know, it's a chance where we know their strength and weakness and I think they, it's a vice versa um, from their point of view as well. So, you know, like I said, the first um, game is going to be important for us and, you know, we know our home condition and, you know, the locals there, you know, trying, you know, put on a good performance and at the same time, you know, trying to win the game and make um, it better for us um, going into the second game on Sunday. We're seeing this place for Anchor in the first match of the series tomorrow. And optimisms are very high as several of Ghana's season riders gear up for this weekend action as the Ghana Cycle Federation hosts its National Cycling Championship this Sunday. So far everything has been put in place and we expect him to have a, a very good weekend of cycling, especially the National Championship. It is compulsory that the Federation hold the National Championship in the month of June and as a result of that, that is why um, the Federation and along with myself is... Um, Prepare to handle this event this weekend and make sure it's a successful event. Hussein Mohammed added that the race will start at Homestretch Avenue, head to Lawn Creek on Linden Highway, and then back to Homestretch for the finish. The organizer said he is so far pleased with the level of competition among the cyclists this year. We must be satisfied because a question was asked what plus I will get them, whether it's an A or B. If we got the champion cyclists in the Caribbean office, we got to get an A. So I am very satisfied and what is happening here is that we have a lot of competition and if these guys can't perform, something is totally wrong. The win of the national championship will be given the country's bragging rights for the entire year. Over to football now, several schools will be in action as play continues in the Power 8 Digicel School Nationwide Championship Football Tournament at several venues across the country. Over at the Namsel, really no place, Essequibo Island. While at Skeldon, Burby's High tackles Skeldon Line Path. While in the city, Cummins Lodge do battle with Christchurch and the Ghana Trading Academy faces off St. Mary's and Charlestown Place Mercy Wings. Also playing in the city are the Bishop Boys, who matches skills against Princeton Secondary. Heading into that match, the Bishop boys said that they are ready for the big challenge. We, right now we're practicing a lot and we got good strikers and good defense. We, we have a good defense. Yeah, we're actually ready. Yeah, so if we work hard and put a mind state, we can do it. Because there's no really no big challenge out there. We can once we put a mind, you know, we work and we can. Yeah, I think we can um bring the game home for bishops. In matches played yesterday, Leonora Vocational Institute hammered Good Fortune 12-0 while Carmel defeated Brigdam 